Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Liv Warfield, ladies and gentlemen. What Liv, I lo- Liv, Liv Warfield is the kind of name you just want to say her first and last name all the time, right? Uh, Liv Warfield. <laughs> yes, you have to say it all. Oh, um, congratulations you. on your uh, on your career thus far. Thank you. Um, it must be a treat to be able to work with the uh, anointed one. Yes. Um, you're from Illinois, correct? Peoria. Mm-hmm. Peoria, Illinois. Yes. Um, how did a person from Peoria, Illinois um, connect with Prince? Ooh. Well, I actually born and raised there, and then I moved to Portland, Oregon on a track scholarship. Okay. So I was a gymnast for actually 14 years, uh-huh. and then I ran track for, yeah, about 12 years of my life. And then I started doing music late. Uh-huh. So I actually discovered that when I moved to Portland, and I was in the karaoke uh-huh. and all that. So it kind of really changed my life around when I started to reach out to different bands and mm-hmm. stuff because music was always in me. Yeah. My father always played the real the reels mm-hmm. around all the time, mm-hmm. and so it just it just was in me. And then I just I went for it. Did you audition for, for him or? Um, yeah, <laughs> he saw a YouTube clip of me singing "Give Me Shelter." And Uh then um, I was like, I guess somebody sent my video in, and I was like, yeah, right, you can send the video. I am never going to hear from that that cat at all. Uh And then like three months later, it was a trip. I got a phone call, and he was like, you want to come out to where it's warm? I was like, what? Wait, first off, this is not you right now. Uh Oh, I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like, I tell people, it's kind of like a Spike Lee movie where everything, like I'm just, everything is moving, and I'm just like, oh, my God, this is a trip. And then the rest is history. I've been with him for Five years, new power generation. So new power wow. generation, yeah. man. They get busy too. They get busy. <laughs> well, well, you know. I, Go ahead, Sway. I'm waiting because yeah, 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 yeah. Liv Warfield. You mentioned track. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sway would just die if he didn't have the opportunity to share one of his track war come stories on, with on, you. Come on, come on, come on. That's a photo included. For the millionth the time, Liv, I'm know, sorry you Liv, have to live through this. I knew, there, I knew there was something. I knew I there it. was a common thread between the two of okay. us. Okay. I'm going to pull this picture out of the phone. This isn't really great for radio because everybody can't see, but maybe I'll post it. Post it okay. on swayuniverse.com. You know, maybe that's what I'll do, but... Uh, Back in, um, uh, well, hold on, let me make sure I can find. Back in 1990, well, I ran track my entire life uh-huh. from when the time I was a kid. I was a, a triple jumper. Ooh. Get, all right, I was also a, a, a sprinter. All right. 400 meter hurdler, a long jumper. Mm. And I, I also had hops, so I could jump high. Ooh. So, okay. Liv Warfield, this is your interview, but I'm about to uh, infiltrate That's it. That's all right. Okay. You see this picture of this guy right here? You see that? Ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's me holding the Olympic torch. Let me get a look. Look. Have How come B. you never threw down. the javelin? Huh? How come you never threw the javelin? I threw the, the shot put. put. I did. Um, I had a chance to be a part of the Olympic torch relay back in 1996 really? when the Olympics were wow. in Atlanta. And then you know how they put the flame all around the country. I sure I'm did. no live. I'm yeah, listen. Okay, look, okay. Look, look. <laughs> hey, that's the official USA uniform produced by yes. Levi at that time. Yes, Levi. I see that. That's okay. all the way official right there. So, so Sorry, I know Liv. you're good at music. <laughs> 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 the people who run track are great at other things that they venture off into. How many instruments you play? I play one. I play violin. For played several violin. years, yeah. Did you bring it with you? I sure did. No, that oh. stayed in the case. Okay. But you're, down. you're a vocalist, though, right? Yes. Uh-huh. We got Linda on the line from the Bronx. Linda, good morning. How you doing? I'm fine. Uh, what, what you forgot about me, Tia and Shireen? Oh, wow, Linda. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. How, how you I, been, Linda? I'm good. I had a ride in the car with Vanessa uh-huh. and here. You know, I said, I wish I knew his number. She said, there it is right there. I said, that's a shame. Your own family, don't even call. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. This Ain't your it bad? Cousin? This is old Linda's just family. family. No, that's his family. Ain't, this is his family right okay. here. Whatever, <laughs> Linda. I got a guest in here. We got Liv Warfield. Say hi to Liv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say hi to you. Ooh, uh, oh, ooh. oh, shoot. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, uh, but I'm doing my show right now. Did you hear a song? <laughs> What happened? Did I hear did the you, song? Yeah, did you like the song? We love this song. Why do you lie? Oh. <laughs> That's what's up. Thank you. She's dedicating that to me. Uh. Hold on the line, Linda, so I can make sure I got your information. Uh, this is what I want to do before we get into more Celebrity Wire. 
Did you bring anything like a? Can can we hear something live? Uh oh. Is that yeah. okay? We got. We can do we, that. I got a guitar. You ooh, see, this guy we looks like he plays guitar. an instrument. Guitar's not in the room right now. Where is it? She just ran to get it. She ran to get it. How far is it? Okay, all right, let's get into Celebrity Wire. We'll come back, Liv Warfield, perform yeah, live, nice. all right? Now more Celebrity Wire. You don't want to go to me, Because I'll wear your no. ass no. out. That's no. a threat. I'm... On Sway in the Morning. All right, all right, uh, we got Celebrity Wire, 1043, I mean, excuse me, 43 minutes into the hour. Tracy G, what you got? Yeah, so one of our mainstays with Celebrity Wire is Kanye, and he has a big update about this case with a guy that we know he beat up, got allegedly 30 years easy punches to the face and that fellow has now hit the jackpot because the case is settled and he is going home with more than two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in ways punching bag quarter of a million dollars yeah wow and first he was asking for six figures so i think he was very strategic with it knew that, he wasn't gonna get the millions that, that is six figures you mean seven Se- figures yes thank there you, you. <laughs> God damn, I was not meant to be an accountant. Thank you. <laughs> Your number game is ridiculous. <laughs> Liv Warfield, do, do you find that like you 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 with one of the biggest names the music business has to offer? Does it feel like when you see that type of level of celebrity status that people always have motives and always trying to get something out of you? Sure. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. I you, see it. Mm-hmm. You see it around the anointed one, or you see it with yourself? Um, both. I mean, I I just I feel like a lot of people have the wrong intentions now that the Mm -hmm. internet is so available and everybody's has access. And so they have access to the wrong stuff. Like it's, it's kind of a trip. They want to exploit you a little bit, but it's, 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 you know, it's a shame. It's part of the game. the same. Well, yeah, it's part of the game now. Mm -hmm. Prince, I had a two hour conversation with him once at the house of blues, um, on during the Grammy weekend. One Mm -hmm. of the things that stuck out to me is he told me to beware of the internet. It is the black hole. Mm. Wow. You ever hear that speech? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, All right. Yeah. And what speaking a- about be wearing of the internet, there's a lot of rumors that were being brought up about T.I. and Tiny and that they were headed towards divorce. But T.I., he cleared us up with TMZ and he said that at the Grammys, um, Tiny, his wife of three years, she wanted to do the red carpet, get all the glitz and flashing lights, but he was not with it. He just wanted to stay home, watch it from the comfort of his couch. So then they got into a war of words and decided to go their separate ways for the night, but they mended everything by the morning. All right. Yeah, you know, you, you write songs like Why Do You Lie, Live Warfield, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, how, how would you have handled that situation if your significant other wanted to stay home um, and, and spend time with you at home as, as opposed to going into the chaos and the rat race, but you wanted to do the red carpet? What, what decision would you have made? Listen, I... Oof, that's a that's a right. That's a trip. Yeah, uh, yeah. We be going on the red carpet a little bit, and then hopefully he'll respect that, mm-hmm. and I can come home and give him some of that. Hey, hey. good oh, love, uh, make it right uh, in the uh, middle uh, of the night. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so like, that sounds right. Damn it, I'll be like, well, hurry home. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Jesus, Goodness it was gracious. so good. She felt good saying it. Did you see that? Like. Like you had your own good loving. <laughs> it's true. Wow. Got anything else, Tracy G? Yeah, because you Sway wants you done, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Is it true, Sway? That you're done? I am. Go ahead, real quick. Okay, so Justin Bieber. <laughs> we're very familiar with all the troubles he's been having with his neighbors. Supposedly, he was spitting in one's face. He was getting chased down the block. And then most recently, he was throwing eggs at one. And that, that ended up being with a raid at his mansion. And now, that very home of his, he's putting it up for sale. Okay. He no longer wants to live in Calabasas. He's now looking to be um, away from any sort of neighbor and just live in isolation. And then build himself a skate park. I think Justin Bieber should go hang out with Prince. <laughs> and I bet when he came out of that Prince boot camp, he'd be on a straight and narrow. What do you think? I know that's right. Right? <laughs> yes, absolutely, yeah. He- you're, you're listening to Sway in the morning. On Shade 45.